Hi, I'm Matt from the HMO Platform. We help landlords across the UK to get on course towards profitability, wealth and success in an ethical way using our next level HMO and co-living strategies. But what is a next level HMO? Well, we started using this term when we saw the word HMO being used to describe lots of different types of properties. And you know, really the word HMO is technically a house of multiple occupation as defined by the Housing Act and it's a very clinical word. And we thought that the old way of doing HMOs of maybe four or five or six beds where you might have a little bit of thought about the design, you might have a little bit of thought about the layout, but not actually put that much effort into it, that used to work really well. And it still does in some areas, but actually I think a next level property, a next level HMO, has to take that property, your scheme, your business to the next level. So we defined a next level HMO in five ways. The first way and a fundamental way is that it's a deal for an investor that provides a high return and a high cash flow. So we're looking to be able to release equity by adding value to the property whilst creating high cash flow at the same time. High cash flow doesn't always equal high return. If we can get that from these properties, then fantastic. Secondly, a next level HMO is a property that benefits from economies of scale. So one of the reasons why we can get a high cash flow and a high return is because when we get to slightly larger properties and put more rooms into an HMO, into one building, then the running costs don't increase at the same rate as the number of bedrooms. So to run a six bed HMO wouldn't cost that much less than to run an eight bed HMO, but you're getting more income so it becomes more profitable. Now thirdly, a next level HMO, we would say is something that has seven or more bedrooms. That's where the cutoff is for your planning. So if you watch our planning video, that will explain a little bit more about that. That's where you add a lot of value to your properties. And it's obviously dependent on the area because there is a thing called Article 4, which we'll cover a little bit later. So you might be able to do it with, some, with less bedrooms in one of those areas. And fourthly, a next level HMO could be a building, which was a commercial building, which has then been converted to create an element of cluster flats. So when we're creating a 20 bed HMO, for example, that isn't going to be 20 people sharing one kitchen. The whole building needs to be designed to work really well with the tenant in mind. Which leads me very nicely onto my fifth point of what an next level HMO is, and that is a design-led property where tenants love to live. Now some tenants may love to live with seven other people, others may only love to live with two or three other people. So we need to know that piece of information before we start a project and then we can tailor it to suit our ideal tenant. So that's it for Next Level HMOs in this video. Check out the rest of our series of videos to learn more and you might especially want to watch uh, this one on planning permissions uh, with HMOs or check out our website to learn more about how you can learn with us in person at the HMO platform. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more updates. See you in the next video.